Let's explore the basics of quantum physics in the easiest way possible. You might be thinking, oh hell no, not quantum physics. I can barely do math. Well fear not my friends. I was once a student who flunked out of school multiple times. I've had many brain injuries and have done a lot of stuff. So trust me, if I can understand this, then so can you. No calculations or genius brains needed. Just sit back, Relax, and let's dive into the fascinating world of quantum. Let's start with this simple equation. Life equals energy, and energy equals life. As energy levels go down, then so does your life force. Pretty simple, right? One does not simply live without any energy. Now let's move on to thermodynamics, or the dynamics related to heat. Don't worry, this is much easier than it sounds. Thermodynamics has two main laws. The first law is that energy cannot be created nor destroyed. And the second law, which is more important, is about entropy, which is an increase in the chaos, randomness, and disorder. So essentially all matter in the universe eventually breaks down. So entropy is simply the unwinding of the universe. On the other top side, we have centropy, which is an increase in the degree of order and organization. So on one side, we have entropy, where everything is moving apart and towards chaos. And then we have centropy, where everything is coming together for unity. Check out this beautiful NASA photo of a nebula in space, where you can see two ways about how the universe works. You see that blurry looking stuff? That is matter being moved to the outside. And now do you see that star right there? That is an example of centropy because all of the dust, light, and energy are forming together to make a star. So things are always moving together or moving apart. Now that we got the basics down, let's take a quick trip through the history of quantum physics. The story all begins in the 15th century with Rene Descartes, who found out that you could track time by simply looking at the stars. At the time, this was a groundbreaking realization that paved the way for future scientists to study the universe and the way it works. At the same time, the clock was invented, and that was a huge discovery as well. This paved the way for Isaac Newton, who introduced celestial mechanics and created the mathematics of calculus to explain how the universe works. He further subdivided and separated matter from energy, creating the foundation for Newtonian physics. Physics, by the way, is a synonym for mechanics. This in turn created false ideas about how the mind was disconnected from the body and that we are separate from one another. But then big changes started happening in the world in the early 20th century when quantum physics came into the picture. You see, Energy is a force that has waves to it. And this changed our understanding of matter and energy. This is what happens when you drop a pebble into water. It creates a ripple effect. Now bear with me as I track back in time a little. The Greek philosopher Democritus coined the term atom, meaning uncuttable in Greek. And then John Dalton scientifically discovered the first atom in 1805. But then in, in 1895, scientists discovered there was something inside the atom, introduced by physicist Niels Bohr with the Bohr atom, that has a nucleus, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Diving even deeper in 1927, scientists looked inside the protons, neutrons, and electrons and found only empty space. So is everything an illusion? This discovery changed everything about our understanding of matter and energy on a fundamental level. And as Einstein said, reality is merely an illusion, albeit a very persistent one. His equation E equals MC squares tells us that energy equals matter multiplied by the speed of light squared, or simply, energy equals matter. This is the law of everything. We are all energy and that is all that there is. And that's it, folks. I hope that this video was helpful, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. 
Take care and be well.